How to create an under construction page on your Squarespace. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can just click uh, or not click, sorry, create an under construction page. Meaning if somebody actually visits your website, they're not going to see the home page and they're not going to see any page really. They're just going to see that the website is under construction. This way, if you, if you want to uh, redesign your entire website, if you want to go on vacation and you can't really, you know, access or do both things uh in any way you can just you know take a break from your site you can just do so by creating an under construction page now it is going to be very easy and simple to do so let's just go ahead and get to it the first thing is going to be creating the page itself and then we're just going to set it to be the default so to create the page you basically want to go to the uh squarespace site here and then you would want to go to pages. Now, mind you, uh, sorry, Squarespace does offer, uh, you know, change the menu for themselves, for their site a lot. So it may be different for you. But for the time being, you can just go to pages and just click on system pages at the bottom here. From here, you will find the lock screen page. This is the one that we want. This is what, the one that we want to set up. So just go ahead and click on this one. And the first thing that we will talk about is the layout because by default, it's going to use this layout here. Now you can feel free to adjust it if you like this layout, but we can just click on change layout and they're going to show us many different templates to choose from. So just go ahead and select whichever one that you feel is uh, best for your design. I'm just going to select this one and do keep in mind that you can also add more elements to it and adjust how it looks like even further. So just go ahead and click on save and just go back. And now we can just go uh, to branding uh, and text. And in here we can do more stuff. So for example, instead of text, I'm just going to leave it as logo and click on add logo upload file. And I'm just going to use this one as if it is our logo. And we can just see it over here. Now for the headline, we can do something like under construction. Like so, I did not put a space in between like so, there you go under construction and then we can just go out to the body and we can do something like see you in 2025 or something like that uh, and then we can also uh, decide whether we want to keep the lock icon or not it's completely up to us uh, i'm just going to remove it in my case and just click on save and now we can just go back and do more stuff for example media if you wanted to add images and stuff you can feel free to do so um, from here, you can just select video, upload video, images to upload images, and so on. Now, if we just go back further, we can just also go to the style option in here, and we can actually change more stuff. For example, the image height, we can make it uh, bigger or smaller, and I believe this is going to reflect on our logo, really. Uh, but we can also change the... Oh, yeah, this is the branding, which is the logo. And then we also have the headline, so we can change the font for the headline, which is this one, under construction, and also the color of the text. So change whatever you want and also same goes for the body and then the background color and stuff. So there's a lot when it comes down to customization. So customize it to your liking and once you're done, click on save. The last step is going to be making sure that this page is what people see on our site. And I believe we're stuck here for, for a little bit. So let's just go ahead and discard our changes and leave. So the last step is applying this page and making sure that people will see it and they're, one, they're not going to actually enter our site. So to do so, you just want to go back home and uh, go to the settings tab at the bottom here and just go to website. And from website, you will find the site availability. From here, click on that and make sure it is password protected and just go ahead and enter the password uh, for it. So this way, if someone has this specific password, they will be able to access the site. If not, they're not going to be able to. And then we'll see the screen that we just created, which is the under construction one. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.